Hi, this is Mr. E Tutor, your mystery tutor, here at mysterytutor.com, and welcome to video module 1-10. This is a really important module, even though it's going to be pretty short. I really want to talk for a minute about the people that you should and should not be trusting for SAT advice. This might sound a little bit harsh, it might be a little bit direct, but you're my student and I'm not going to pull any punches to give you good information. No matter what you do, even though I tell you to use this book for uh, real tests because it's the only printed source of real SAT questions in the entire universe, you should never use this book for SAT advice. This book is full of horrible SAT advice. The College Board has demonstrated time and again they don't understand the best way to take their own test. And that kind of makes sense because if they knew how easy it could be, I'm sure they would change something. Similarly, I would not recommend ever using any third party's uh, SAT preparation advice. Think about this. We've discussed many times that the key to taking the SAT is understanding the standards of real test questions. Well, almost every third party test preparation company writes their own questions. So that means one of three things is happening. Either they don't understand the importance of the standards in the first place, which I think is the case for most of them. Or they think they can write questions with exactly the same standards as the one on the SAT, which I will tell you from my personal experience reading those uh, sources and also working for a few of those companies, that's not the case. They can't do it. Or I think a lot of them are aware of the standards on the SAT, are aware of the fact that they probably can't recreate them perfectly, and they just don't care. They don't think you're going to notice. So when it comes to the SAT advice that you follow, here's a simple piece of advice from me. Always. Always, always test every single piece of SAT advice you ever receive against the actual test, against real questions written for the real SAT by the real college board. Any advice that doesn't work on those questions is not advice you should be listening to. And when you're on my website, I'm only going to show you examples of my strategies being used against real test questions. So you'll never have to wonder if this would work in real life. So it's really important. I know you're going to leave this website eventually. I know you're probably going to look at some other sources or friends will come over and talk to you or whatever it is. But remember, no matter what advice you hear, always test it against the test itself. That's the only way to know that you're dealing with the real thing. And that goes for me too, of course. Test my information against the real test. I promise you, I'll always pass the test. Thanks very much. And remember, it's easier than you think.